everybody. Say good morning, Giselle. Good morning. Today is Giselle's first day of in-person school. She's starting <laughs> kindergarten today. Yeah. And what else is today? Who's, whose day is today? Well, um, it's Daddy's birthday. So today is Daddy's birthday. And me and Daddy got a day off to celebrate his birthday. Giselle's going to school today. Gavin's going to daycare today. So we're getting them ready and we're going to hit the gym. But I had some people that asked me about how to make good choices of food when they go out to eat. So that's what this video is going to be about today. Okay, stop what you're doing right now, y'all. Go ahead and pause for the cause and hit that subscribe button. Your girl is trying to reach her goal of 50K this year, and I'm going to need y'all help. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button now. Help me reach this 50K in 2021. And while you at it, go ahead and support. Shop the brand at armyprincess.com. I sell military cosmetics. We just got home. Just no, had a good workout. Hey, that's how we do. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Y'all, he broke me off at the gym, as y'all can see. I gotta finish up my water because I try to drink up at least, you know, my whole water while I'm working out. Should I should have drank it up already. I am about to sit down for a minute and relax because my legs feel like jello. Hello. That was a good full body workout. Oh, we did. Hydrate and get ready to go out to eat today. I'm not gonna have anything because I'm fasting. Y'all already know me, I do my intermittent fasting. And I technically could break my fast about 10.30, so I may have my vitamins at 10.30. Oh, I gotta show you this. The Nutriburst came. Oh, what's that? You take a shot of it, it's like ele eating the salads or something, 11 salads or something. Mm. It's vitamins and stuff, you're supposed to take it on an empty stomach. So I'm gonna take this, and probably in about an hour when I break my fast, we can take it every day. All right, so let me talk to y'all real quick. This is for my people that have been on a fitness journey at the fitness journey at the fitness journey. Me and you are the same. We have a lot in common. I just wanna talk to y'all a little bit about motivation because motivation is one of those things that are not always going to be here, you feel me? It's one of those things that you have to really, really be disciplined enough to be like, you know what? I don't need that extra piece of cake. I don't need that can of soda. I don't need that slice of pizza. I need to get up and I need to go to the gym today. That's what's going to carry you through. You are not going to always have motivation. And people always try to put these false things on like, oh, you just got to get motivated. Every day you're not going to have the motivation. Motivation is not going to be there. There are days where I'm like, nah, I really just don't feel like doing this today. But you have to instill in yourself the discipline. So it takes discipline. And once you incorporate discipline, once you become disciplined in the things that you're doing as far as your goals, it's going to become habit to you. So it's going to be like second nature. You're not going to have to necessarily every single day get up and motivate yourself and push yourself to do it because it's second nature to you. You just get up and you know that's a part of your routine is going to the gym. Everybody is not able to afford a gym membership. I know COVID is still going on right now. We're in the middle of a pandemic. Some people don't feel comfortable going to a gym, but you can do what you can do in the means of your own home. You don't have to have weights. You don't have to have any special equipment. But what you need to do is get the discipline to get up, create a plan for yourself, create a food plan for yourself, because that's the hardest part. People think, oh, working out is, is the hardest part. No. Pushing away from the table is the hardest part. When you get those cravings at 10, 11 o'clock at night to eat that ice cream, to drink that soda, that's the hard part. And that's the part that I want y'all to focus on. Getting yourself in a routine. Start up the discipline. So you like, no, this is what I'm going to eat today. This is what I'm going to do today as far as my workout. And go and crush your goals. Okay? So I just wanted to come on real quick because I'm feeling amped up. I'm feeling pumped up because I just left the gym. So I'm motivated. I'm seeing results on the scale. But every day you may not see results on the scale. You may fluctuate. You may have water weight. You may have ate more sodium than you did the day before. So that's why I say motivation is not going to be there every day. It's the discipline to be like, you know what? Even though the scale says this today or even though I really want to eat this, this ice cream or this cake today, I'm not going to do it because I have a goal. 
and I'm going to achieve my goal in the next 120 days. All right, y'all, I done talked and blabbed enough. Let me go on and get ready to go out to eat because I know y'all want to see the options. We are going to a steakhouse, so I'm probably going to do like a steak and vegetable and stuff like that because steak is good protein. Um, I've been eating a lot of chicken, so I'm kind of tired of chicken, so I'm excited about steak. Let me go on and get dressed, and I'm going to come back on. All right, y'all, let's go break this fast with our Nutriverse. All right, y'all, so it is 11.30. I am actually one hour over my fasting time, but um, your girl is feeling good. I've been fasting every day for about a week now, and I've been doing about 16 hours. I'm not gonna say I love fasting, but it, it really doesn't bother me. The first few days are kind of hard, but I really see improvements with it and results with it, so that's why I do it. I am excited to take this Nutriverse, so I am going to take a shot. Have it in here because it's just a tablespoonful and break my face. Now let's eat. get you especially if you're trying to eat right because bread has a lot of calories it can have a lot of calories and a lot of empty carbs but i might have to get me a little bit because i'm not doing like keto so i'm sorry i kind of ripped that one up no it's fine this is probably enough for me because i don't think i have anything really else that's carby so I'm gonna enjoy my one piece of bread. Looks so good. I got Brussels sprouts, mac and cheese. Sir, bone in, bone dry in. aged. So I tried to go for a more protein option. So I have my shrimp, my filet, my Brussels sprouts. I'll probably have a little bit of the macaroni, but I'm good with this. So it's been a while since the last cup. It is about 4.30 now, later on in the evening. And um, I just wanted to kind of sum up this video because I know I didn't record a lot of footage in the restaurant. My face is shining. I didn't record a lot of footage in the restaurant because, you know, we were in a nice restaurant and I didn't want to have my camera out. But I did want to talk about picking options because that's what this video was all about. So when you're out in a restaurant or, or out to eat fast food or whatever, there's always a healthier option that you can choose. I would say try to go with um, vegetables that are maybe not so carby, more of a healthy fresh vegetable if you can. Of course, a protein. And you can have carbs. Carbs aren't bad, but there are good carbs that you can have. So for example, I had a little bit of the macaroni and cheese. They didn't really have a lot of carb options besides um, a baked potato. I was really, really hoping they had baked sweet potato, but they didn't. So it's, it was my husband's birthday. That's why we went to the nice restaurant for lunch and he wanted whatever he wanted, which is fine. I just ate a little bit of his macaroni and cheese just to taste it really wasn't that good to me. And I had one piece of bread as you all saw in the beginning, but I chose to stick with the Brussels sprouts because I love Brussels sprouts. And then I had the shrimp and I had the 
the filet which was really really good and that came with like a vegetable sauce as well just be mindful when you're picking your options because I could have very well got like a chicken alfredo or something like that but that would have been way too many bad unnecessary carbs so you can have carbs I'm not saying you can't have carbs but I'm saying when you are there go for the vegetables go for the protein and see if you can choose a good carb and you don't have to completely cut out bread but anything with moderation is okay but I know for some people bread can be a slippery slope so if bread is a slippery slope for you then don't eat the bread I'm gonna go ahead and end this video y'all it is the end of the day my kids are on their way home from school today so I'm going to end it, but I hope you all got something out of it. Just stay motivated, make a plan, stick with the plan, create a routine, have the discipline to be like, nope, I don't need another piece of bread or nope, I don't need to eat mat loaded mashed potatoes. And if you aren't there yet, because that's okay. If you aren't there yet, work your way up to it. That's it, y'all. I'm going to leave you all with this one and I will see you all in the next one. Bye. Hey, if you want to see more videos like this, then make sure you hit that subscribe button. Like, what are you waiting on? Go, now.